Uh, just to continue on the same line we've been going on uh, doing this uh, study through the book of Daniel, uh, chapter 1, verse 8, and still looking at that part where it says that Daniel proposed in his heart. Uh, yesterday, we began to look at some quotes that further help us understand what it means to propose in our heart. And the first one we looked at was Sigmund Freud. Uh, which who is one of the foremost psychoanalysts, together with Carl Jung, both of them stand at the very top in psychoanalysis, uh, which is a study of the mind. You know? And he says that just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. I mean, this tallies along with uh, what Vic, uh, Franklin, uh, Victor Franklin uh, shared. You know, Victor Franklin is... Uh, is uh, the survival of, of the dead camps from World War II. And it says that the last of human endowment is the ability to choose, right? The, the biggest gift God has given to every one of us is not the Holy Spirit. I know people don't like that. It's not the Holy Spirit. The most powerful gift that God has given to every human being is the ability to choose. It's called free agency. That is the most potent gift that God has given to his creation. That is the reason why God had to come down and, 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 and create new language, cause confusion amongst those that wanted to build a tower. We need to understand God said that this they have begun to do and they cannot be stopped. Almighty God, omnipotent, said, these people, once they are in agreement, this that they have decided to do, nothing can stop them from achieving it. The only way God stopped them is to cause disunity amongst them. No other person said it, though. God Almighty said that nobody can stop them for as long as they are united in doing this. Once they have decided to do it, nothing can stop them. It was, and, and we need to know there's no other person that said that about God himself. God gave man the ability to choose. That is the biggest power that God has given to us. But the devil has deceived us. He's made us to not to understand the potency in our ability to choose. Even God is limited concerning us by the fact that he gave us that power to choose. That's the reason God cannot force you to go to heaven, cannot force you to hell. It is your true choice. You choose to go to heaven. You choose to go to hell. All God has presented before you is heaven and hell. Whether you go to heaven or you go to hell is your choice. You will not be able to blame anything else. It will always be your choice. Whether you become rich in life or you become poor in life, it's not God. It's your choice. I know religion, some religious people will deceive us and say, oh, the people are destined to be rich, the people are destined to be poor. That's a lie and a pit of hell. You will not find that in the Bible. Even that place where we normally quote, oh, the poor shall always be amongst us, is, is a misquoting of the scripture. Because if you look at that place and look at the verses before, God provision is for everybody to be rich. God's provision is for everybody to be rich, but not everybody will do what it takes to be rich. If you don't do what it takes to be rich, you will get the result of what you sow. Because life works by sowing and reaping. Nobody forces you to sow or not sow. You choose to sow. You get the result of what you sow. Right? There's nothing like star. It is because our star, that's how we are like that. That's a life on the pit of hell. Even if your star is like that, you can change your destiny. You can change your star. But the very fact that you have a right to choose, you can change your star. After the, the wall of Jericho fell down, Joshua cursed, proclaimed a curse. Someone came. And at the risk of carrying the cross, did what, what, what Joshua cost against. 
our time is up. <laughs> we'll continue tomorrow. God help with us. Uh, I know I'm always controversial stuff. Uh, Auntie Beauty, now. Yeah, I was saying that you're correct. That um, actually, uh, what made uh, God to send Adam and Eve out of the garden was because they choose, you know, out of their will to to disobey because the only thing that made the difference god didn't want them to take of that tree because in the, in taking of it they are trying to say they want to be god you know and man cannot be god so he wanted them to use their own will to choose and of course they chose wrongly so uh, the greatest uh, decision making is in man and t- till the day it is still man. And so that is the point that we have to emphasize that your destiny is in your hands. Your destiny is in your hands. Even when the DNA uh, portrays that, okay, your family line, you are, you are all prone to diabetes, you can decide to change that DNA. You can decide to uh, put a stop to the activities of darkness and all is in your will. Absolutely. It's quite correct. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Pastor Sheng, you were going to say something. You were saying something I didn't hear before. Yes, you were were asking uh, to forgive me to say something and I said it's okay. (laughs) Oh, it's okay. All right. Great, 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 great. All right. Awesome. Awesome. You know, God help us. We'll we'll continue tomorrow.